Alrighty everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chris and this is episode one of, uh, I, I don't really have a name for it yet, but the idea for this video or this series that I'm planning is to kind of walk you through my journey as a content creator. That sounds weird, I've never said that before. Um, but the idea here is that uh, if you're somebody like me who wants to start posting more videos on YouTube, uh, it's a little bit overwhelming. You don't really know where to start. Uh, what I did, I YouTubed and Googled a lot of how-tos. So how to start a YouTube channel, how to create videos, how to edit, how to do all these different things that uh, content creators do. And to be fair, I've been doing that for the past four or five years um, so there's been a lot of work in me researching how to do things but there's been very little to no action or me actually posting these videos so what I decided to do and where this idea came from is instead of just struggling by myself trying to figure out what works what doesn't uh, and learning the ins and out of YouTube that way, I just figured that as I'm going along, I document it and I share it with you guys. So this is episode one, and what I wanted to do here is just talk about some of the uh, some of the things that might be holding you back from creating videos. Um, so I'll just start going through some of those lists or some of those bullet points, and I'll talk you through how I overcome those or I'm trying to overcome those obstacles. Um, so let's go. All right, so obstacle number one, uh, you might think that you're not good on camera. And honestly, if you don't practice or do it regularly, then nobody's really good on camera. Uh, so one of the things to keep in mind when you're on camera is that you wanna be sure that you're making eye contact with the camera lens. Um, so right now I'm driving, it's really hard. Uh, but I'm trying my best, so whenever I do look at the camera or look at the phone, I make sure to look at the camera and not my face. Uh, second step, uh, I don't have the right equipment. Um, well, neither do I. I'm filming this on my iPhone. Um, it doesn't have to be an iPhone, but a lot of phone cameras are pretty good right now, and they're uh, a good resource, and you should be able to use those to at least start making videos. Um, so that's what I did. I got over the fact that I don't need a uh, $500,000 camera to start a YouTube channel, um, but rather I can start using my phone and as I start learning more tips and tricks on how to shoot and how to make sure that the lighting's correct and things like that, then whenever I do get the camera, I'll be able to, to do those kinds of things and improve the visual quality of the shot. Because um, a lot of things that I've read and seen is that even if you get a high quality camera, that's not necessarily going to make uh, your content that much higher quality. It's all about the story that you're trying to tell and the message you're trying to get across. So for this video, and an iPhone is more than suitable for that. So that's what I'm going with there. So start with what you have. Uh, let's see. The next point is I don't have a place to shoot. Um, neither do I. I'm currently in a rental car, this isn't even my car, and I'm shooting as I'm traveling for work. Uh, so a lot of the times we try to like visualize what our ideal vision of a channel looks like and uh, most of the time that comes with like a really nice studio, a nice wall with a nice matte uh, background, some uh, really nice tables, some books, bookshelves, decor, things like that, and uh, there's nothing wrong with that being the goal, but you can't let that stop you from actually turning on your camera and recording stuff. So, like I said, right now I'm live from a rental car, and hopefully if I'm doing this right, that doesn't take away from the 
uh, the story or the message that I'm trying to get across. So that's how I overcame the uh, having a dedicated space to shoot. The next thing you might be worried about is if you're trying to do these types of vlogs or just talking to camera in general and, or in public, you might be discouraged or scared about what other people may think. And I'm still dealing with that right now because as I was going through the airport, I took my phone out, I had everything ready, but I was still kind of scared to record stuff in public. And uh, the airport where I was at, it was really quiet. So I just, the thought of me talking out loud into my phone in a quiet airport is kind of intimidating. So that's why I waited to get to the actual, to the rental car so that I didn't have to deal with the idea of other people looking at me. But even then, there's cars that are passing me up and I kind of just have to get over the fact that they might see me doing this. Uh, but that's okay. I'm never, probably never gonna see them again. So that's another way that I got over that. Let's see, another point that usually, there, that I got hung up on is just figuring out what kind of content I wanna create. Uh, and it's still something that I work, I'm work. i working on right now. Uh, I want this channel to be uh, about me and the things I like, so I don't want to pigeonhole myself just yet into covering specific uh, topics. Uh, I know one of the things that, uh, whenever I'm researching like how to grow a YouTube channel, one of the key things is to find a niche or find a specific type of, uh, specific category of content that you want to create. And I, I understand that. Uh, I see why it makes sense to grow your channel. But for somebody who's trying to just understand that, like what they can do and what they're good at, uh, I'm thinking that these first kinds of videos are going to be uh, all over the place. Um, so just some things to expect. Uh, some how-tos or vlog type videos like this where I just bring you along and just share my experiences or things that I might create. Uh, I'm also into tech, so there's a few tech reviews on the channel right now. So if you want to, I'll link those somewhere up here or in the description if you want to check. But yeah, uh, that's just a really quick video of what I wanted to cover in this episode. Like I said, I filmed this entire thing in the car, uh, on my phone, with terrible lighting. You can see this is super overexposed. Um, but yeah, this video is just to show you guys that you don't need to have all the latest and greatest equipment. You don't need to have the perfectly lit uh, environment. <laughs> lit. Um, but yeah, as long as you have a message and you want to get that across and you're able to do that, I think that uh, you'll be able to get to a good start. Um, so if you want to follow along this series, um, I promise I'll come up with some creative name. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, like this video if uh, it's something that you want to follow and if you're Really want to follow this hit the bell icon because that's going to tell you exactly when I post a new video and uh, Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited about this. I know this isn't the Crispiest content that you can find on YouTube, but I'm really excited to Grow this channel create more videos meet some more people who are doing similar things and then bring you along with me and by the end of this, I'm hoping to do multiple series or multiple episodes where you or me or anybody can go and just see how I've progressed uh, over time. So yeah, really appreciate it. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.